We've got more now on our lead story, the U.S. flyover on the newly established China Air Defense Zone. We've got more analysis on this issue. We're joined by Josh Dong, senior research fellow from the China Institute of International Studies. He's going to give us the Chinese perspective on all of this. What are your thoughts on the U.S. sending bombers through China's new air defense identification zone? Uh, the U.S. sent the uh, bombers along the eastern edge of China's uh, air defense uh, identification zone. Uh, though the U.S. said that uh, it was a long-planned uh, um, uh, training mission, but uh, most uh, Chinese netizens have uh, expressed their view that the U.S. would like to show China and other countries in the region that who is the boss in the Western Pacific. And the Chinese citizens, uh, uh, netizens have shown overwhelming support for China's uh, uh, air defense identification zone. And it believe that it's good for China's self-defense, but the U.S. is uh, now is provoking uh, by sending the bombers to the uh, uh, eastern edge of the zone. Uh, Mr. John, earlier in the broadcast, we heard from the U.S. and Japan. Uh, the U.S. Uh, Vice President uh, Joe Biden is going to bring up this issue when he visits China coming up uh, in the near future. The new Japanese ambassador also had strong words about this. They're both saying that China is taking a unilateral action, which you also pointed out. But at the same time. Japan announced it's expanding its own air defense identification zone. So I want to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I'm wondering why the U.S. did not uh, uh, express its concerns over Japan's uh, setting up of the zone uh, many decades ago, and they re resumed or expanded uh, zone by Japan. Actually, in the past two or three years, the Japanese government is, has been taking provocative moves uh, over China's Diaoyu Island, is uh, uh, the especially the ultra nationalist uh, Prime Minister Mr. Abe has taken uh, uh, provocative uh, moves against China, uh, and I think the Chinese uh, move to set up this zone is to make sure that uh, China enjoys uh, uh, self defense over the area. Mr. John, how do you think this thing's going to, to play out? I mean, you've, you've watched this back and forth. There's been a lot of uh, escalation intentions, and they kind of de-escalate. Uh, is there a role for the United States to play as a broker, an honest broker, to try and help uh, defuse the situation? Well, actually, uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, can exercise restraint in this regard. China, uh, the U.S. has asked China uh, to uh, act on a rule based, uh, rules based uh, rules basis, and also uh, has asked China to be transparent. Actually, China's uh, way of uh, identifying setting up this zone is showing that China is following rules and they try to be as transparent. Actually, with this zone set up, uh, China uh, wants to show the world that uh, China is transparent in self defense. So. Uh, if other countries follow the rules there, and there will be no miscalculation, and there will be less misunderstanding. Actually, China's move uh, is intended uh, at reducing miscalculation and misunderstanding and show that where uh, the uh, uh, zone is. So uh, actually, uh, the U.S. should welcome China's move instead of uh, challenging China's move. Josh Dong uh, joining us from Beijing with his analysis. Thanks so much.